University Health System is one of four certified quality breast centers of excellence in Texas, and they are here today to tell us more about breast cancer detection and prevention as we head toward the end of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And Dr. Pam Otto is the director of breast imaging at University Health System, and she's also the chair of the Department of Radiology for UT Medicine. Welcome, Dr. Otto. Thank you. Very nice uh, to be here. This is a, a great month for everyone to be aware. Wear pink. We talk a lot about it. We celebrate a lot. But this is something, especially breast cancer, to be aware of all year round. Right. All year round, we people need to be screened and make sure they come in for their screening on a regular basis. When does a woman need to start that self-examination process and then the mammogram? Those are two different things. Right. The self-examination process should that women should learn that early so they're comfortable doing it. So we and it's free. So we suggest that women start that in their mid twenties, okay. just doing self breast exam, being aware of their bodies. Um, women at normal risk, according to the American Cancer Society new recommendations, should start screening annually from age forty five to fifty four, and then every other year fifty four until they're no longer to be able to be treated for breast cancer. Okay, so if you have an increased risk, which would mean hereditary, it's, it's, it runs in the family, Correct. or perhaps some environmental concerns or, or anything like that, what, what, what do they need to do? Right, if, if women are at increased risk, and mainly it's family history sorts of things, they should start screening 10 years before their family member was diagnosed with breast cancer, or in certain cases, if they have enough family members, they should start screening around 35, 30, 35, okay. both with mammography and MRI. What can we do to help prevent breast cancer? Obviously, examinations and going to the Angelina Jolie extreme, you know, those right. kinds of, what, what else can we do? Live a healthy life. Your grandmother was right. Don't drink too much. Get enough exercise and eat right. And of course, digital mammograms, uh, this, is a, this is a great vehicle. This is a wonderful vehicle. Tell me about it. Okay, this vehicle allows us to go to the women. So there's two sets of women that have troubles getting mammograms. Those that don't have the money to get it or the money to get transportation to go where we have the facility. And the second is the working women. So the working women tend to save their sick days for their children and not themselves. And so they won't leave work to go get their mammograms. So we take this to community events. We take it to places where women may have access problems, and then we take it to the workplace. As we forget, those women also have difficulty getting out and getting their mammograms. How long does a mammogram take? Start to finish, 15 minutes. Well worth the time. Very worth the time. Okay, these are dates for the Healthy U Express, November the 3rd, 6th, 16th, 8.30 to 4. Write those locations down. Go ahead and DVR the show right now, too, or take your phone out and take a picture of that so that you can go and take advantage of that right. and be protected. Right. Thank you, Dr. Thank you Otto, for much. being here.